The saying around here is keep Austin weird, so I've come to the capital of Texas to share one of the weirdest things people do with PowerPoint. Let's take a look. So what's the weirdest thing you do with this presentation? I think it would be to print it. It's a set of lovely looking slides, but they don't contain anywhere near the level of detail that you'd need if they were a standalone document. They're designed to have a presenter provide additional information. But if you add that content into the slides, you compromise their effectiveness when presenting. But there is a way to solve that, which is to print a PowerPoint with notes, both the slides and the speaker notes together. PowerPoint calls this the notes pages. To print it, go to the file menu in the top left hand corner and then print down the left hand side. Here you'll find a variety of different options, but under settings, you can choose what the print layout is. Now this says full page slides by default and you can see there the entire slide is filling the page. But if you click on this, you get a few different options, including the notes pages here in the middle of the top. And that now gives you a new page layout with the slide at the top and then the speaker notes underneath, giving you that extra content you need when you'd print it. The problem is, it looks terrible, but you can do something about it by customizing the notes page, either for individual pages or for every page using the notes master. If you're going to customize the notes pages, the first thing you should do is to customize the notes master because that impacts every single page in the deck. To do that, go to the view tab in the ribbon and the notes master here in the middle. That brings up this, which contains all of the common elements that you'll see across every single notes page. Now, what you really need to do is ensure that the colors and the fonts are correctly branded because often you'll find that they're the standard office defaults. So if you go to the notes master tab on the ribbon under background here on the right hand side, you can choose what colors you have. So you can either choose to customize the colors or if you have your color theme saved, you can simply select it up here at the top. Likewise, choose the drop down for fonts. You'll see there that it's the default for office, but you can now change that by customizing fonts at the bottom or finding your saved sets here. Once you've done that, you can then choose to alter any of these different placeholder elements. So you can toggle them on and off using the placeholder section of the notes master tab, or you can manipulate them by selecting them and moving them around. Now, before you reposition them and resize them, I'd recommend that you add a grid to make sure that everything is nice and neat and structured. You can do that very easily by right clicking on a blank part of the page and choosing grid and guides from the pop-up menu. Here you have the ability to show the guides so I can select those on and then you right click, choose grid and guides again and you can add horizontal or vertical guides. As you add that in, you've now got the ability to move it around to position it as you see fit. Once you've got your grid structure set up, it's then simply a question of customizing all of the elements on your notes page. So I'm gonna take here the placeholder for the slide. You can move this around and reposition it. I'm gonna move it to the edge of the grid there. And I've got the placeholder here for the speaker notes, which again, I'm gonna position so that it sits nicely there. You've then got all of these elements around the side, the header and the date, for example. So again, I'm going to adjust those so that they sit nicely. And you can also resize them so that they fit well within the grid structure that you've created, figuring that you probably don't need very much space for a date, but you might need more room for a header. Likewise, at the bottom where you have the slide number and you've got the footer, you can resize these so that they're appropriately sized and make sure that everything is going to work well. When it comes to setting up the Notes Master, always think about how people are going to use it so that you've got an effective layout and structure for the notes pages that people will be adding content into. And then once you've got that base structure, well, you can add other embellishments, things that maybe put it more on brand that make it look slicker and professional. So here I can add in a few just simple elements, the odd line here and there to separate out the content, maybe a company logo because this is a document, so maybe individual pages will be get sent out. But you can add things in here which will now appear commonly across every single page in the notes pages. To customize the individual notes pages, you need to go to the view tab on the ribbon and the notes page over here on the left hand side. Here you've got the ability to now customize any of the elements of the notes page. The most obvious thing would be to customize the notes themselves. So here you can add any notes or you can change the formatting. So for example, I can select the title there and bold it, or it might be that you want to select some of these key points and perhaps add some bullet points to them. It's worth noting that any formatting or any content you add 
to this note section placeholder will be reflected in the speaker notes of your slides. So if I go back to the normal presentation mode, you can see here in the speaker notes that it's now got bolded title and it's got bullet points here. And in the speaker notes section, if I were to remove any of those, then you'll see if we go back to the notes page, then all of those have gone. So really they are one and the same thing, which can be useful and also a pain depending upon how you look at it. You then might also want to say, well, this isn't terribly inspiring. Maybe there's a better thing to do. And there is. You can add your own custom content to the notes page outside of any of those placeholders. So here, for example, a much nicer looking representation of all of that information. A nice new bold title so it's clear and obvious what's going on. You've got individual elements here for the key parts of the text box. You've got some new content which shows us at a timeline progression and then a key call to action down here at the bottom. So a much nicer, neater looking thing to present to people as a document. And that's terrific up until you realize that all of this is now custom content. This is the only thing that's left from the original notes page, which is the text holder placeholder. So if I go back to the slideshow mode here, now you'll see that you've lost half of those speaker notes. You see how they've now disappeared because they are outside of that placeholder content, which can now potentially be frustrating. So you need to recognize that if you are going to create custom content, it won't then be in the speaker notes, which you may rely on when you're presenting. A neat hack around that is to not put any of this content into that placeholder. Instead, make all of this custom text boxes, custom shapes, custom lines, and instead have your placeholder content shifted off the side of the page. In this setup now, you've got completely custom content on the page itself. This is what will print out when people see it. And on the right hand side here, you have that text placeholder which means that in regular slideshow mode, you've got here all of your speaker notes. And so if you look at these three different versions of the slide, you can see that really there's not a lot of difference to them other than the fact that I've now been able to keep all of the content in the speaker notes on this third slide, whilst also having a much nicer, much more accessible and much more professional looking notes page version of it as well. It would be remiss of me if I didn't briefly mention our free Bright Slide add-in that you can download from the Bright Carbon website, which gives you all sorts of wonderful tools from a design productivity perspective. But in the file and master section here, under review, you also have the ability to export speaker notes. So you can take all of the speaker notes from every slide in the presentation to a text file, Excel file, or Word file, or indeed delete them all if you don't want them in there. So some useful tools to be able to manage things on a presentation wide basis. So there you are, some useful tips on how to print PowerPoint with notes. Click the link to the blog on the Bright Carbon website in the description below for even more detail on this and many other topics. Have fun with it.